Are you on the right? Are you a conservative? <laughs> I'm definitely not conservative. Uh, I don't know what being on the right means anymore. Uh, the way I conceptualize my political views is, first of all, I hate teams. I like being part of a team that I've chosen to be part of. Okay. I don't want to be on Team Red or Team Blue. And I talk about it in the book, as you know, which is uh, I am not interested in being tribal. I'm interested in not being tribal. I see tribalism as a big part of the many problems that we have in society. Do I have views that people would consider to be on the right? Absolutely. Do I have views that most people would consider to be extremely on the left? Absolutely. Uh, do I have views that most people would consider moderate centrist views? The majority of my views are in that category. So mm -hmm. I have views from all over the political spectrum. Um, and it also depends what you're talking about geographically and what you're talking about in time. I am definitely in the center left in America. Yes. I am definitely in the uber far, far progressive left in Russia where I come from. In this country, I am in the center. I think probably, be, it, it really, the, the way that I see it works is, whether you are on the right or on the left or in the center really depends on the issues people consider important at that moment in time. Yes. So in a society in which there's been a massive debate for decades now about immigration, immigration is naturally a very important issue. And the fact that I'm someone who believes as an immigrant myself, and I talk about my experience with the immigration system in the book, not always positive, not always fair, not always the way that a person should be treated. Nonetheless, I do think we shouldn't have uncontrolled immigration. I think um, we shouldn't have any illegal immigration into this country. That should be dealt with as a priority. Um, not only because it's a security issue, not only because it's a fairness issue, it's a law enforcement issue. Yeah. We shouldn't have people coming into this country by breaking the law. Well, it, just it makes shouldn't a mockery happen. of the concept of it being illegal immigration. Right. Now, for some mental reason, Alex, that makes that view right wing yes. in today's society. And because people consider that issue to be important in today's society, therefore, it gives them scope to, to, to claim that I am on the right. Sure. Because that is an issue on which I have that opinion. Uh, believing that people should, should be free to speak their mind. When I was growing up, that was not an issue that put you on the right. My heroes, people like George Carlin and Bill Hicks, lefty liberal comedians, were all advocating for this position and pushing against, pushing against the religious right of their day. Now, when I say I believe free speech is important, people go, well, that means you're on the right. Well. Who decided that? Well, maybe that's got something to do with the fact that, as you say, they were pushing against the religious right, yes. whereas now the people who are most often asserting their right to free speech are pushing against uh, a left, more the often The religious not. left, <laughs> right. But it's not <laughs> my fault, it's the religious left. <laughs> the religious left. It's, it's a religion. Mm. This, this ideology is completely religious. What, um, what, what's like an example, or maybe a handful of their small things? Believing things without fa on faith, of, without evidence? Not, I wasn't going to ask you about the religion thing, mm. um, because... Believe me, I have comments on that too. Yeah, there are. You said that you have views that sort of place you on the right and place you on the left. Yeah, you've given this your sort of position on immigration mm. as something that would not necessarily put you on the right, but have you perceived as being yes. on the right? What are some of the views that would have you perceived as on the left? Yeah, I'm massively in favor of the decriminalization of most drugs and treating drug addiction, any addiction really, as a as a as a health issue. Um, I uh, am not. Uh, while I am in favor of, um, you know, getting the burden of tax of, of business and individuals, I'm also in favor of having a sensible welfare state where people who are vulnerable uh, or disadvantaged by the circumstances of their life uh, are given support as opposed to a more sort of right-wing free market approach where, um, you know, it's every man for himself type of thing and, and the successful get successful and the unsuccessful get unsuccessful. I think you need a welfare state. I think you need to look after people who can't look after themselves. Um, you know, the, those are two, two issues. So I'm in favor of a significant amount of wealth redistribution. Um, I, I believe that there are many situations where elements of government regulation are necessary. I don't think the market in and of itself is the solution to every problem. I think the market often ignores significant externalities of the things, um, you know, the wrong structure 
creates the wrong perverse incentives for companies to then take advantage of. Uh, and sometimes it's the job of government to step in and make sure that's not happening. So um, yeah, I'm not massively economically on the right. I think I'm probably somewhere in the center and I have center left views on that. So decriminalization of drugs is probably the most obvious example. Are there any other sort of cultural left-wing ideas that, that you... So what would be a culturally left point, left-wing point of view? I guess things that are not... Um, Things that are not, not Do economic, I think racism, so, is, racism is bad? Yes. Well, uh, things like being pro-choice or anti-gun. Or, yeah, I am. Uh, well, and it, these are all very American conversations. Yeah. We don't have guns in this country. And abortion, I would argue, in this country is a settled issue. Um, I think abortion is a very difficult issue. I'm delighted that I've never had to personally make any decision of that sort. I'm not in favor of, even though I do think abortion is... It's not murder, but it is killing. I'm not in favor of outlawing it entirely. I think there's a sensible discussion to be had about you know, the, the period of time that a person should have before they have to make that decision. Um, and we've had people on the show from both sides. Callum Miller, for Callum example. Miller and um, um, Frank Ferretti, uh, and Ferretti, uh, uh, who's a prominent advocate uh, in favor of choice uh, for women. I have sympathies with both of their arguments. So it's not an issue on which I have a rigid, firm position. Mm. In terms of guns, I have a funny attitude to guns, which is I'm delighted to live in a society where we don't have guns. But if I lived in America, I would definitely own and train with guns. Yeah, I understand that. Do you think um, the, the guests that you have on trigonometry, would you say that they, if you ask them to sort of do a self-report mm. survey, would you say that there's a majority left, a majority right, or sort of, equal balance. It depends on your definitions again. So if we're saying anyone who believes in free speech is right wing, if we're saying anyone who believes that we should have borders is right wing, then you're likely to find that more people that we've had on the show are right leaning than left leaning on those definitions. I don't accept those definitions. Mm. Um, I'm interested in speaking to different people with different views on these issues. Like we just said, we had people from different sides of the abortion. We had people from different sides of the Brexit conversation. We had people who hate Trump and who love and worked for Trump on the show. Um, and the other thing, of course, is you've got to understand that we're not the BBC. We're not able to attract every type of guest that we would like to have. Um, and we have found that there is more hesitancy about coming on trigonometry from people on the left than there is on the right um, by those definitions which I don't accept in the yep. first place. Uh, so, um, and you've got to also remember as well, you know, trigon the point of trigonometry is to provide balance. That does not necessarily mean that we are balanced in what we cover. Important. We are provide, we're plugging the gaps that are being unaddressed by the mainstream. And that will necessarily mean that the channel isn't always going to be balanced because the conversation is the mainstream yes. is not balanced. The full conversation that the clip you just watched was taken from is available via the link that's on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.